What's going on guys? Gia right here. So in today's video, we're going to discuss about two important topics. The first one being the iOS 11 beta second update one that has been released by Apple two days ago. And some people have no idea why and what it contains. And the second topic, which is more important is the iOS 10.3.1 signing status and of course jailbreak. So let's get into it. I'm going to start with the iOS 10.3.1 because I know a lot of you are interested into it. It's no longer signed. Apple has um, has stopped signing this overnight and now iOS 10.3.1 out of the blue is no longer signed. Uh, I think iOS 10.3.3 beta 5 is up now. So uh, yeah, out of the blue without any new release, Apple has stopped signing iOS 10.3.1. Now if you go ahead in here on the, um, on the version itself, it has been uploaded on April the 1st. Now this means it's quite a few months old, this firmware. Apple usually do not uh, sign a firmware version for that long. And when, when they do, they usually have a reason. They wouldn't have any reason to, to sign iOS 10.3.1 since iOS 10.3.2 was already uh, up and ready because the iOS 10.3.2 has been uploaded on May the 3rd, which yeah, pretty much we have killed the iOS 10.3.1 because there wouldn't be any need for iOS 10.3.1 after that point. But they did not kill it for some reason. And the jailbreak by Pangu that worked for iOS 10.3.1 and lower is not currently released. It, it remained a demo and unfortunately we know nothing about Pangu that is new. But we know that there is a new jailbreak available that is in demo of course and it's not released. The Kinlab jailbreak that we discussed about in this video in here. I made this video when it was uh, demoed by Kinlab at Mosic 20, um, 2017 a couple days ago. and. Um, yeah, this one, as I said, it's in demo, but this one supports iOS 10.3.2 and iOS 11 beta 2. So what should you be doing? Should you upgrade to 10.3.2 and wait for this jailbreak to come or stay on iOS 10.3.1 or iOS 10.2.1 or whatever firmware you're at? Well, do not update. This is very important. Even though iOS 10.3.1 is no longer signed, do not update. If you're on it, stay there. It's better to stay on a lower firmware. If it works, if the bugs are working on 10.3.2, there are chances the um, exploit will definitely work on 10.3.1 as well. So um, I, I don't see why it wouldn't be uh, there since the iOS 10.3.1 and 10.3.2 do not have uh, major changes to, to speak about. Anyways, it might not be compatible at the same time, so keep that in mind, it's just an assumption. Anyways, it's safer to stay on 10.3.1 currently if you're there, but if you're not there and you wouldn't um, like to, you know, lose your chances, stay on 10.2.1, stay on 10.2 if you're already jailbroken, do not lose your jailbreak for nothing in the world, unless another jailbreak is already out, I mean not demoed, out, released, available. And um, if you're on 10.3, stay there, 10.3.2, well, stay there, do not update to 11. Anyways, uh, now let's talk a little bit about the iOS 11 and why it has that uh, update one been released a couple days ago. Well, um, when Apple released the iOS uh, 11 beta second, um, the iPhone 5S, the iPhone SE, the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus, as well as a couple iPads, I think a couple iPad Airs, got a problem. They could not uh, downgrade anymore to iOS 10.3.1 and 10.3.3. Well, now 10.3.1 is no longer signed, but at that point it was. And uh, the problem was that you simply could not restore back to the, you know, uh, a stable firmware to 10.3.3 or, well, it's in beta, but 10.3.2 or 10.3.1 at that time. So um, it, you were basically stuck in a beta firmware. If you're iOS 11 beta second, and you update to the update one that is available on your settings, you're going to be able to then downgrade back to 10.3.2 because they released that only to fix the downgrade bug so that you no longer get into the recovery mode. You don't get stuck in there. Anyways, this is basically this, uh, the uh, scope of that uh, update of that release and um, till the next time do not forget go ahead and subscribe to my channel and there is a um, small problem in here when you subscribe um, or if you're already subscribed YouTube has changed something and when you're subscribing or if you're already subscribed and you're pressing here it's showing you a uh, small bell like this you need to click that bell and you need to confirm this in here let's wait for it to load and send me all notifications for this channel. Click save. You can also do that on mobile as well. Go on the YouTube app, 
find my channel on your subscriptions and go and press that bell. That ensures you're getting the latest news when they appear and not days after the video has been published. Because if you get it days after it was published, there is no point into that. Anyways, this is actually it. Till the next time, stay safe and stay uh, updated by subscribing. Tell me in the comment section down below what you think about this, um, this you know, out of the blue unsigning of the iOS 10.3.1 and peace out.